not just a race, but a new series in Australia. The Toyota 86 Racing Series. Cam Hill, Tim Brook, turn one. Who can get there first? Away we go. And it's the Formula Ford Series champ who nails the jump down to turn one. John McCorking down in that green dial before your dig car. He's pretty easy to spot carving through the field. But it's the pole man who leads the way. Tim Brook is second. 38 cars go in. How many come out? We're about to find out. So far, so good. That's exactly what you want for a new series. A clean start to returns one and two. Stephen Johnson trying to make ground already. It's a car park. It's a traffic jam. It's three wide at turn three already. Glenn Seaton's down the inside. The Antanda around the outside of all of them. The invited drivers are pedaling fast early, trying to recoup some of the ground that they couldn't get during qualifying. It's two wide in the sweeper. If it's like this for 10 laps, we'll need to lie down. I, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Three wide through turn four there. Through the sweeper, three wide as well. Not only... Not only one spot on the grid, there's, there's several different races going on already. Hard to keep up with what's going on where, but it's Cam Hill, the triple one car, the Illawarra Toyota entry out in front. Teammates are chasing the two white cars, uh, Tim Brook and David Cedars. They're from the Cedars Racing Team. Will Brown next, Aaron Seaton in third spot in the Hino red and white car. Then John McCorkendale, then Damon Strongwin, then Ben Rice, the son of the two-time winner Alan who's here this weekend to watch on we jump aboard with Stephen Johnson who's already made up one spot on this opening lap next on his list is young Luke King in car 22 I had a good chat with Stevie J this morning about car setup he's made a few little tweaks trying to dial some understeer out of it looking pretty good at the moment certainly uh, on that small amount of onboard that we've seen Looks like he's got a little bit more point in that car. It is a cool morning though this morning. Light cars are only 1,200 kilos, so the tyre temps will take a little bit longer to come up than, uh, than what you see in other categories. Great sound, that little two litre four cylinder engine screaming away, about 179 kilowatts at 7,500 RPM. And Cam Hill's just got a little margin here, half a second over Tim Brook. We just jump aboard with Stevie J, who's closing in a little more here. This is to get into the top 10. Check out the sweeper, look at the action here. And remember that this is not a slick tyre dump up, it's actually a groove tyre that they're running on the Toyota 86 series. I mean, it takes a very different driving style, driving on a semi-slick radial tyre versus a slick tyre. The great thing is, if it does start raining, there's no strategy involved, you just press on. And given this is the first race, everybody's learning about how to get the most out of the tyre, how to get the most out of the car. Up on the curb there, Stephen Johnson. We go back to the front. The top four have started to break away. Oh, Glenn Seaton here now, just hearing through that he's had a spin. And he's down the tail of the field. Position 38, last. That's a long weekend from there with the progressive grid. Here's the top four. Hill, Brooks, Cedars and Brown. They've just snuck away from Aaron Seaton, who's under fire from John McCorkendale in the back of this shot. Garth Tander watching on. Wife Leanne sits in position 17 at the moment. He'll be in action pretty soon with the supercars. And here is Leanne, car 42, the number we've seen her run over the years on open wheelers. And she's got Gary Holt in front of her, former Bathurst 12-hour winner and a long-time production car racer. Quick chat I had with Stephen Johnson this morning. He's saying the cars are going to be quite difficult to uh, to overtake on because oh, they're so even. Oh, 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 got, oh some, uh, got some assistance there. That's not how to treat the invited drivers. No. Boy. Seaton rejoins down the tail of the field. Back at the front, Cam Hill, the 19-year-old from Canberra, is leading the way. Tim Brook, who... Not a name that a lot of motor racing people in Australia will know, but it's done a lot of driver training and been racing behind the scenes in the lower categories, Formula V and the like. Lots of guys coming from club racing and Formula Vs and more grassroots categories because this is an affordable way to put them on the platform here in front of supercar teams and, uh, and the big game of pit lane. Yeah, exactly right. It's affordable, it's accessible. 
it's uh, it's, it's great to see the diversity up and down the uh, up and down the grid. Tim has had a lot of experience in Formula V, as you say. As we go on board with Stephen Johnson. Well, literally, let's go yeah. on board with him, Stevie J. Aaron Noon. Have you got me there, mate? Hey guys, how you going? We're going well. You are in the middle of a fight. You've got one in front, one right behind. They're taking no prisoners here. Oh, they're out of control. Got to look in front, look behind. Here we go. So Steve, Carl Reimer here, mate. We had a hey. quick chat earlier. You're talking about the braking distances in these cars. You're braking at the 40 and 50 metre mark in these cars. Oh, it's insane. It's insane. Like, I'm, I can't make any ground on the brakes. you just got to get the run out of the corner. But it's so hard. I mean, these cars are so even. But I'll tell you what, they're so much fun. Yeah, it looks like you're having a ball out there. How's, how's the front end of the car working? You, you made some improvements on the car. Oh, watch this. Hey, there you go. Made it a little bit better through the sweeper. Well, let's see if we can get a run here into the uh, into the hairpin. Oh, a little dive. Nah, no, not quite. I better back out of that. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a bit of action yeah, up Yeah, watch front. out. Watch out in front. Oh, look out. Driver, go left. Go left. <laughs> look out. It's all happening. There's a guy to my left. He's got right front hanging off it. There's some action for you, lads. We've, Mate, got, our, we've got our in-race action reporter. Talk about <laughs> being in the middle of it all. It was Ben Grice who was spun on the side of the road. Now you did well to get through there. There's racer uh, instincts kicking in. I'll tell you what, I reckon I'm probably the luckiest bloke out here. I've got the world's best spotters for me up there in the commentary box. I'll tell you what, this is so much fun. They're so even. Obviously, I've got a little bit of a gap now behind me because of that incident. So let's see if I can work on this. Young Charger in front of me in 22, Josh Hunter in front of him, so... Stars, little uh, Toyota's just starting to come on. Yep. You used some lower tyre pressures for the race? Oh, mate, I've done all the tricks. I can't tell you over the air because I'll all be tuning in. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll get out of it before you give away any trade secrets. Press on, my friend. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Stephen Johnson running position number nine at the moment in this first race of the Toyota Racing Series. <laughs> Oh boy, that was a good time to get away from things because yeah, it nearly got away from him. And this is Damon Strong went off the road. We've got the safety car. Okay, replay here. This was Ben Grice in the white car down the inside. That's Damon Strongman who's out through the dirt and the grass, keeps it nailed, comes back on, and bang. Oh, that's that's not on. That's pretty unacceptable there from Damon. I think uh, you know if you've got an obligation as a driver, if you go off the track to come back on safely, and he just hasn't done that. Well, he's, he's he's been run out of room there on the exit there, which is one thing, but then it's another thing to come back on and and get re-involved and <laughs> cause the secondary part of it all. This was what happened on board with Stephen Johnson while we were chatting. He was looking ahead around the corner to see what was going on. He knew there was a dra bit of drama. He's Once he saw it there and the dirt and dust, he's predicted it happening. No, when you've got rooster tails coming off the back of the car in the dirt, you, you're not on the brakes. And this was just after we bailed out of car 17. Oh boy. Maybe, oh boy. We, dis maybe we distracted him. Hey, we were gone by then. Yeah, we, we, were. we weren't in his ear by then. Have a look at this. Ooh. That is close. <laughs> From what we saw in the replay, Glenn, you got some assistance. They're not treating the Hall of Famer terribly nicely out there. Yeah, just a tad of, tad of uh, help, but... Uh... I've got a few races to go this year. Oh, oh, is this, do, I, do I sense a bit of a bit of return of serve here? I didn't say that. OK. You're putting words in my mouth. No, 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 no. <laughs> do you know who it was that was involved with you before? Uh, back at the Smith. Saw the name on the top of the door as it went past. All right, OK. <laughs> it's in the memory back by the sound of things. Other, uh, than, other than that, I know that this safety car's helped you out. It's closed you up to at least the, the tail of the pack. Progressive grid for the weekend. You, you start the next one where you keep finishing, so this makes the, re the rest of the weekend a bit tough. Yeah, it does, really. But, uh, hey, I'll tell you what, this is a fantastic series. It's given young guys the opportunity to come and compete in front of all of the eight supercar crowd. Great TV. Um, and it's got to be congratulated to Toyota for putting on this because motorsports needed this for a long while. Your young bloke's running position five at the moment. He's heading the, the second pack of cars. The top four have been able to get away. He's got a really level-headed approach for a young 17-year-old. He's really mature beyond his years. Yeah, he's, like I say, he's been racing since he was seven in carts, and um, he is a very mature kid in racing. And he's uh, showed in a lot of different brands of cars, the Porsches, right through to Evos and production cars through carts. He's actually quite a good racer, so it'll be a great uh, career for him, I think. And um, it's great to see him right up in front of me, to be honest, because uh, I can now sit back and retire. Oh, no, there's plenty of racing left in you. We'll let you get back to it. We're going to have a restart this time around. Good on you, nerds. 
Glenn Seaton. Position 33. I reckon he might get a few more before we get to the end of this one. Safety cars coming in this time around. So Cam Hill will lead us away. It'll be a dash to the flag. Four laps of racing. And those top four, that's where the winner's going to come from. They had the pace before this safety car uh, period to slow things down. Yeah, just over half race distance at the moment. You've got the two teammates in second and third at the moment. Looks like they've got a little bit of pace on Cameron Hill, so I'd, I'd like to see a bit of a, a battle up, up the front there. Cam Hill setting the pace. Obviously, you've got to hold a constant speed. Waiting for the green flag. Fair bit of pressure at the moment, leading the pack. And he's really going to hold these guys up right until the last moment. And there he goes. Back to the line. Green flag flies. The wind's on the line in the first race. The Toyota 86 Racing Series. That's Josh Hunter in car two, making a move on John McCorkingdale. That was an overtake before the start finish line. Well, watch out what's going to happen here. It's three wide oh, into drive. So Hunter goes around. Big hit. Drew Ridge was down the inside in car four. They go absolutely everywhere to try to find a way around that drama. Stephen Johnson's off through the grass. Benny Grice is as well. Oh boy, it's got really willing. I have absolutely no idea what happened there. Oh, look at that. Oh, Steering's damaged issues. on car 17. Steering wheel is not pointing in a straight line. That bit of tape is for the top of the wheel. It should be at the top. Unfortunately, though, Stephen's going to have to limp away and be out of this race. But it's still going on in the mid-pack. Out front, though, those top four or five again have been able to sneak away. Yeah. One thing's for sure, race two is going to be pretty exciting with names like Stephen Johnson and Glenn Seaton coming off the... Uh, Oh, a fair bit of damage there. And that's Drew Rich. He was involved in that drama at Turn 1. He was the car that was down the very inside that I guess was, well, just about triggered at all. Here's the top five. Aaron Seaton's been able to go with them this time. Earlier on, they were able to drop him off. Let's have a look. Restart there. Hunter's by McCorkindale before the line. Luke King was down the inside. That is Ridge in car four. It's three wide. There's the contact with Stephen Johnson that causes the damage to car 17. They all managed to miss the number two Castrol car of Josh Hunter. And the, you know the worst thing is, though? Ridge and Hunter are in the same team. Ooh, that's awkward later on. That's going to be very awkward. See, Stephen lifted there while it was all going on in front of him, down the outside to turn one. Boof! It's hard, to, hard to say who's at fault there. I mean, uh, yeah, I think someone had an issue coming down the straight there and... Drew Ridge, maybe a little bit ambitious going up the inside, but uh, when you're going three wide through turn one in any car in any category, it's uh, potential to cause some trouble. As we see, the, uh, number 77. That's Daniel Louis, has been off the road. We're going to go time certain in this race car. So this is the final lap. The wind's on the line. That first win in the Toyota 86 Racing Series. Back aboard with Leanne Tando. Oh, sitting position 10, so she's been able to get through a few of them. That's Cameron Crick round the outside who grabs that spot in the top 10. So Leanne's moved a long she's way done really well. The, uh, yep. the quiet achiever out there just plucked him off, capitalised when the opportunities were there. Started 20th, is running 11th, albeit a few of them did make it easier for her. Run to the lines on, couple of corners to go. Cam Hill looks strong enough here. He's done all the right things in the right corners. He won last year's National Formula Ford Series. He saw this category as the way to step it up and get involved in the cost-effective racing and be on the, the platform here in front of a lot of people in the Australian motorsport industry. If he doesn't make a mistake in these last two corners, I'm putting him in the stats book as the very first winner in Toyota 86 in Australia. One corner to go, turn 12 here at Winton. Got it sorted. And he's right got to it the done. line. Checkered flags waiting. Well done. Cameron Hill is on the board. It's 100 series points for the young gun from Canberra. He takes victory in the first of three races this weekend in the first of five rounds of the Toyota 86 series. Boy, there was a lot to go through in that one. Brook is second from Cedars. Brown, Seaton, King. Holt in seventh place. McCorkingdale finished in position eight. And it was hard to know who was going where. Tander is home in 10th, the best of the invited drivers. But for the other two, Johnson and Seaton, there was ooh, just a little bit going on. So Glenn Seaton ended up 25th after all that. Relegated all the way back to 38th, then made his way back up. OK, so this is a replay with Glenn at the final corner. Up in front. And there's the spin of Bowie in front of that multicoloured car. He's got to come back towards Glenn. Oh, that is ooh. so close.
That was tight. As he checked his rear vision mirror on the way through. That's not a place you want to be uh, parked up, especially with 38 cars running around. There's our winner, Cameron Hill, giving a wave to the, the flag marshals on the way through. This is a great first race for the, uh, the, the inaugural round. Yep, that sets the standard and the benchmark for the rest of the weekend and the rest of the series. Cam Hill takes the win, just half a second. Nine tenths covering the top three at the line. Will Brown, Aaron Seaton, Luke King. You're going to know some of these names by the end of this year. They're young, hard chargers looking to make a name.